Hi guys, it's Tish from the Install Bay. We're gonna show you how to test for positive and negative on your tweeters. I don't know why they don't mark them. Stay tuned. So a couple weeks back we did some talk about tweeters and power and fun stuff like that. And an interesting question came on and they were like, you know, when I'm putting in a tweeter, most of the time, like this tweeter here, there's no positive and negative. You have no idea what is positive and negative. You just have to assume that maybe the stripe is negative, but then again, sometimes the stripe is positive. What do I do? Well, if you've got some form of an iDevice, either an iPad, iPod Touch, an old phone, or something like that, and you can download apps, we have a solution for you. That's not to say that you can't do it on Android. I just had no luck finding an app that would do it. So if you find one, put a link down below. Otherwise, let's get to it. So for this trick, you're gonna need some form of an iDevice with a headphone jack. If you got a new one, you could use something that converts the lightning to headphone jack too. That'll work fine. You wanna turn it on, go to the app store, and you wanna download an app called Speaker Pop. Now what Speaker Pop does is it puts a test tone out. Now for this, what we're going to do is we need an aux jack is also. Just get yourself a cheap one, it doesn't have to be all that fancy, because we're going to do this. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, we're gonna cut it in half. Wasn't that fun? All right, so now that we've cut it in half, we wanna go ahead and we want to strip back some of the cable. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. All right, so now go ahead and strip the tips back on all the wire. And then grab yourself a digital multimeter. Go ahead and set it to the cool radiating lines, which is a continuity test. You want it to do this. And what we're looking for is the bottom and the top. So the bottom is red and the top is white. We're not gonna use the yellow, so we can go ahead and just cut that off. Now at this point, you can do whatever you like. If you wanna call it done and just put some pins on here, you can. Uh, if you just wanna solder these tips up and make them uh, you know, a little bit stiffer than they are. If you're just trying to do this quickly, you know, whatever turns you on. You can install some gaiters on here if you want. We're just gonna go ahead and solder these up for right now, um, just so they're a little thicker. So we've gone ahead and tin the ends. Like I said, you can cover these ends with whatever you want to make them as cool as you want. The wire that is close to the inside, which in this case was the red, is ground. The tip out here is positive. That's important, because you need to know which is positive and negative on this, in order to find out what's positive and negative on the tweeter. Now we have three different tweeters here. We have this Alpine tweeter here that is clearly not marked. We have a Rockford. They used red and black, mighty nice of them. And then we have a Pioneer that's actually marked. So we will be able to use this to test to see if we're getting the right thing. That way, when we're using something that isn't marked, like the Alpine, we're good to go. All right, so go ahead and turn on our test tone. And once we plug in the eighth inch jack, you won't hear the tick tick anymore because it's built in. All right, so we'll go ahead and strip this back. And red is ground. We'll just go ahead and twist this like this. We have a tick. Go ahead and put this next to the speaker. So our signal strength is good and we're getting a positive. Let's check. So we're using the white stripe for positive. And according to this, the white stripe is positive. Okay, so that worked. Let's move on to the Rockford tweeter. 
Let's go ahead and hook it up backwards just to see what it does. Turn it on. We got our tick. So sure enough, it's given us a negative, so we know we've hooked this one up backwards. Okay, so we know if we hook it up backwards, it's gonna read backwards. Now we'll go to the tweeter that we have no indication on, and at this point we feel fairly confident that we're going to get it right because we've hooked it up correctly and incorrectly, and it's worked perfect on both. So now we can come over here. We'll just hook it up. And there we go. We have a positive. So white is positive. So then we know that the stripe on the Alpine is negative. That's it. It can be that hard. So like I said, Speaker Pop is downloadable from the iTunes store. It does cost money. I think it's three or four bucks. It's totally worth it though. Now, obviously, we don't want to just sell you the app to do just this, although that was the whole point of this. If you pick up yourself a very long aux cable like this one here, I believe this one's 20 feet, you can plug this into here, plug this into the aux jack on the stereo, and literally go around to each speaker in the car after you've hooked them all up and test to see if the speaker's polarity is hooked up right. That means the positive is positive, negative is negative. All right, there you go. Real easy way to figure out positive and negative on a tweeter. And with that, we're done. So you can find us Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Like the video if it was helpful. It's really nice. Subscribe. If you want to talk to us, Facebook Live, Monday nights, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. And with that, you guys have a great night as always, and we will see you later next time. Bye.